Well, as you can imagine, people here are devastated and are hoping for a quick rescue. The lead for the search says the Coast Guard takes this mission personally, and their first thoughts are with the family of those on board. The search is on for a missing expedition sub carrying five people to explore the wreckage of the Titanic. The vessel built by Everett Company Ocean Gate Expeditions. It's terrifying. I'm worried. I just heard about it just now. I mean, I hear about Ocean Gate all the time and all their work that they do. The Coast Guard explained the U.S. and Canadian assets aiding in the search about 900 miles east of Cape Cod. We want to make sure that we have done absolutely everything that we can do to uh, locate uh, their family members and bring them home safe. Those include C-130 aircraft for aerial visuals, plus sonar buoys capable of listening to a depth of 13,000 feet. So we've been in touch with additional commercial vessels that are operating in the area. Come on News in 2018 covered when Everett-based Ocean Gate Expeditions finished building the Titan vessel, the same type of sub now missing. It was touted as the only five crew member vessel that could reach Titanic depths at nearly 4,000 meters. The annual expedition started in 2021 with the goal to document the wreckage and the impact on the surrounding environment. A retired UK Navy Rear Admiral explains the possible reasons the sub lost communication less than two hours into the launch. Either lost an umbilical communication with the surface uh, or indeed uh, there's been a malfunction uh, and the submarine is continuing to operate but obviously out of contact with its mothership. Ocean Gate in a statement says it's deeply thankful for the assistance to reestablish contact with their sub. And the five people on board include one pilot or operator and four civilians who paid to go on this expedition with local company Ocean Gate. And right now officials are not naming them because they say they are still working to contact their families. For now, live in Everett, Jackie Kent, Como News.